Hello friends, this will be the second tutorial of this uh, C++ design patterns course and in this tutorial we will talk about delegation principles. Uh, like in the previous tutorial, uh, let's create uh, one class. The name of the class will be application without destructor and we will include standard namespace and iostream in our cpp file and we will not need this application constructor neither class we will just use this header and cpp file uh, we will include standard namespace in the header file and we will also create another namespace we will call it my namespace and inside this namespace let's create one class the name of the class will be vehicle and it will have only one public function it will be void we can type virtual and it will be drive the name of the function and let's create one virtual destructor Okay, uh, we just need this uh, void function drive and virtual destructor uh, by default we will not print anything inside this uh, destructor and now let's create another class and the name of the class will be fiat and also this drive function will not be pure virtual function we will define it in our cpp file and this fiat class uh, let's create default constructor And Fiat will also uh, will have a void function on drive. But as you can see, this class of Fiat will not extend vehicle. Uh, we will use delegation principle. We will not use. Uh, uh, we will not use inheritance here. And now we will go to a cpp file to define all of this function. Let's call my namespace that we have created. And first uh, let's uh, define a, a void function drive of the vehicle. We will just print something, for example, driving a vehicle. One simple sentence, and now let's define. Uh, we need to define this default constructor and uh, drive function of the class fiat.
Okay, we have defined the uh, constructor, and now let's de define void function drive. Inside this drive function, uh, we will create a uh, object uh, object uh, vehicle It will be with pointer We need to allocate this uh, object in the memory it will be equals to new vehicle We will call a function drive from the vehicle. And we will just delete this vehicle from the from the memory and we can try to see if it will work properly okay it should work properly now uh, let's go to main cpp file we need to include application class Also, we need to use namespace that we have created. It is my namespace. We will delete this hello world. We don't need it. And we will just create one uh, fiat, uh, fiat object and we will call the drive function to see if everything will work properly. We can call it f1 with pointer equals to new field. We can't use this polymorphism because uh, class field does not extend the vehicle class. And now we will just call drive function of the field and we will delete it from the memory okay now we will uh, build and run the output should be driving a vehicle okay and it works uh, properly uh, the point is we didn't use inheritance here but inside, when we, ha uh, when we uh, have created uh, class uh, fiat, this function drive, inside the function uh, we have created uh, object vehicle, we called a drive function. And of course, we, uh, after we, we call the function, we, uh, we have deleted this vehicle from the memory. And it works properly uh, in our class Fiat, even if we didn't, uh, we haven't used the inheritance. This is, uh, this is the simple uh, example of a delegation uh, principle. Uh, I really hope that you like this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't, don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel. Uh, you can also uh, follow me on Instagram. You will have a link in the description. And I will see you in the next tutorial.